And I speak in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I've been a son, a brother, a husband, a father, a grandfather, a friend, a colleague, a boss, and a confidant amongst many others. I'm sure the same is true for many of you. These roles develop as we get older. When it comes to planning our future, we do not always see a clear way forward. When I was 10, I declared that I had chosen my future career. I was either going to be a lawyer or a priest. This could have been heavily influenced by watching Perry Mason on television and having to go to church with my mother who led the local brownies and seeing a vicar who was actually good fun. Growing up on a council estate, these were not the usual career choices. My parents tried to prepare me for the fact that I might have to find something different later in life. In other words, this was not going to happen. At school, I was not regarded as a natural academic. Yes, I could pass exams, but I was not going to set the world on fire. So everyone agreed that teaching was to be my career. This was not only an insult to teachers, but it was also completely wrong for me. I attended teacher training college, but we parted by mutual consent a very short time afterwards. I obtained a temporary job in the local magistrate's courts by the look of being the only applicant, which led to me eventually becoming a solicitor and still later a priest. It was almost like these were part of a plan. Also, I've also sung in choirs since infant school. I love music and it regularly moves me emotionally. I therefore love musicals. My absolute favourite is Les Miserables. It tells the story of Jean Valjean. He starts as a prisoner because he stole bread to feed a starving child. Through many adventures he becomes mayor of his town, a saviour of a small girl and a generous employer and philanthropist. But he's plagued by doubts and in one song he sings, Who am I? And one version of him is the prisoner number 24601. People see him differently depending upon when in his journey they saw him. How are these two stories linked? Well, Jesus is on a journey and comes to the town of Caesarea Philippi. He asks the disciples, who do people say I am? They reply, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, others Jeremiah. Their view varied because of the context in which they saw or heard about Jesus. He then says, who do you say that I am? Without hesitation, as usual, Peter, who often got things wrong, for once gets things right. You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Peter had been with Jesus for a long time, knew him well and had seen all he had done. This closeness to Jesus enabled him to see the truth clearly. Jesus says to Peter, and I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. And then he gives him authority over his followers. So what does this tell us about our lives? Peter was a simple fisherman who would believe he would become a powerful advocate, the rock on which the church was built and the holder of the keys to heaven. It shows that when God has a plan, the unexpected happens. My path was much less spectacular, but God made it happen. We sometimes forget that nothing is impossible for God. As in Les Miserables, we see a transformation from someone who is overlooked and despised by the height of society to become an advocate and great good in the world. We can all move on from our past. We become forgiven for our failures and sins 
and become a disciple and a servant of the living God. Jesus followed his father's plan. And no matter what people said or did, the plan came true and Messiah saved us and this world. So what have we got to do? Well, perhaps we've got to listen for God's plan for us. Little did I realise all those years ago that the thought that came into my head wasn't just some little boy having a dream. Perhaps he'd been placed there by a higher authority who saw the overall plan much more than I could. There's still a path for all of us, no matter what age we are. Ask, pray, listen, hear and believe. It may seem unlikely by earthly values, but there are no restraints on God. See what you can do for your Saviour in the future. Who am I? Who are you? We are children of God. Amen.